Hey y'all, it's finally here. Our Shadow Warriors NFT collection is here and you can be a part of it right now. Brought to you by the Lightest Fear Network. Our native, our Joe Art native token is available right now for pre-sale. Grab the game right now, the top line of the description box. I got some dope visuals on the screen for you. So if you like gaming, if you like NFTs, and if you like to make money, this is definitely for you. Go to the top line of the description box. That's JoeTart.com. JoeTart.com. Tell them Oga sent you. Peace. All right, I'm sure for hip hop, this has been a very emotional day and overwhelming for some. And I'm doing my job to make sure I bring you as much positive reaction as I can in this somber moment. Well, insert Master P, because Master P is one of the OGs I was talking about. And we had the uh, opportunity of um, interviewing him earlier this year, but he was one of the OGs that I put on the list of people that should probably be on a commission, a hip hop, you know, commission where it's almost like, you know, a right to pass this type of program where people will go through the eldership, you know, and kind of get guidance and kind of learn and even like settle beefs and help them with finances and stuff like that. Well, anyway, Master P actually spoke about the death of takeoff and he gave some very insightful information. Let's get it in, man. Hit the like button, share the video. Here's the OG Master P. Stick around and I'll be back. Oh, my condolence goes out to takeoff family, Quavo, man, all my soldiers and soldier reps. Uh, hip hop has turned to the new streets. We used to be in the streets trying to get in the hip hop game, which is crazy. Uh, the most important thing people always ask me and Snoop, like, how do y'all live so long? We realize that love overpower hate. And to this generation, I want to tell y'all one thing. Uh, you got to move different. Don't be afraid to hire the police for details to get you home. It don't make you no less or nothing. If you're making millions of dollars, that's the whole key to living and surviving and getting back home to your family. Tell people all the time, a good run, be the bad stand. And I love y'all. And I'm challenging the media, whether it's TMZ, uh, Blad, uh, any hip hop source or any other sources that somebody got that could put media out. Let's post some positive stuff. People come to me all the time about posting negative stuff, you know, showing us in that light. But show us celebrating each other, saving each other. Uh, when you walk out your house, tell your loved ones you love them because you never know who might not come back. And no matter how old or young you are, it's crazy. That's wise advice from a very wise man that's been through a lot and like he said hug someone kiss someone tell them you love them because you when you leave an outdoor you don't think it's going to be your last time i'm pretty sure that he didn't think it would be his last time his family didn't think that when he left he would never ever return but master b hit on some great points there some super super great points you know where he talked about you know how you move and i think this is this comes down you know to because i just a few minutes ago got a chance to see the video right before you know uh take off was shot and it was a small little argument but it wasn't nothing crazy but it's just the element that you're in you know and sometimes i guess being these type of artists you're kind of forced to be in that particular type of element um but you got to just move a different way put yourself in position everything has to be strategic you just have a strategic security team sort of like the president like everybody is considered a threat from the air aerial underground and even on foot it should be something that serious where you got guys looking at everybody you know, and as soon as, you know, shots ring out, somebody's grabbing you, throwing you on the ground, whatever the case may be. I just hate to continue to see this happen. We are all going to be searching for answers and solutions of why this couldn't happen. But the fact is that it did happen. And also what he said about the police thing. I couldn't agree more. Like, forget about the image thing. This is entertainment. I wouldn't, if I saw my favorite rapper, you know, having police security, that wouldn't make me think he was less gangster. That would say, man, this dude is smart. Because at the end of the day, he's an entertainer. And he may have lived the life, but right now he's entertaining. He's not in that life. So, yeah, get yourself some police security. Because if police is around and security is around with straps, and I'm pretty sure Texas is an open carry state. If people got straps, I don't think somebody's pulling out their gun when I got a uh, um a semi-automatic weapon on my hip and hanging off my neck. I think people are less apt to pull out a gun and just start shooting it, right? But we're all hurting, man. Um, It goes back, like I said, to Scott LaRock. It's been about 200 some odd rappers that have been killed. 
And I just hope that, you know, one day this can change. I hope that we can go years and years and say, yo, ain't been no rappers killed in the last 10 to 15 years. I just really hope that. But it's a lot to be said. That's Master P. Let me just, guys, think in the comment section about what Master P said. As always, you guys know what it is. Hit the like button. And the video is brought to you by HipHopUN.com. Make sure you go to HipHopUN.com to stay tuned of all what's going on in hip-hop. It's your boy, go to run a piece.